Welcome everybody to Chemistry 2A. This video is going to talk about what materials are needed to get through this class, both in the lecture and in the lab component. So let's start off with the lecture component of the class. First of all, uh, let's talk about my readers. My readers are in red. They look like this. There's a practice exam uh, edition and lecture notes edition. What the heck are they? Well, the lecture notes are literally my lecture notes. You'll see that when you get one, it's printed on single side. So a lot of students will bring this to lecture and take notes on the blank side, having my notes on the other side. And so they'll have a one-stop shop for my reader. I update both of these every quarter. I do that to fix mistakes. And so you'll see the recent versions have some fixed mistakes. Uh, I'll put some other notes online about what else has changed. Sometimes I make bigger changes than others. I always put new exams in the practice exams. So these I would highly recommend getting. Most, most all students on surveys say this is what these readers are what they use to get through the class. I will always let you know what page I am on in the lecture notes as we're going through the class. So you'll always be up to date exactly what I'm doing. As far, let's talk a little bit about the textbook. Now the textbook is bendable because it's loose leaf. This is a general chemistry Petrucci 10th edition textbook. It has pictures of UC Davis on the front. Uh, that's because it's a custom book. It's set in the order uh, that uh, we cover material here at UC Davis. I get a questions often, can I use the older, older edition of the textbook? Personally, I don't care, but this is the edition that myself and the TAs and other instructors as you go through 2B and 2C use. So this will be the easiest to follow. In class, I will always tell you what page I'm on in the textbook so that you know. All right. Uh, this is also available in the library on reserve, so you can check it out if you don't have it. You don't necessarily have to buy it. That is also true for the student solution manual. Okay, this is the complete solution manual, but there's a student solution manual. That's on reserve in the library as well. So you can go check both of those out. Most students, I notice, do not purchase the solution manual. You don't have to. Some students don't purchase the text. They just check it on the library or bypass it completely. Um, most of my students will usually buy the readers because they find those extremely helpful. Again, you don't have to do it, but I'd highly recommend these. And then if you have money to also get the textbook. As far as a calculator, you need a scientific calculator. I put a star here because I'm pretty much requiring it. You, <laughs> I don't know how you can do an exam without getting one. We do not allow you to use your cell phone during an exam. You can have the non-programmable or the programmable version of a calculator. You just can't use the programs during an exam. The last thing we want to mention that is also required, so that's why I put a star by it, is the student access kit. It might be a different color that you find in the bookstore, but it's basically a kit that allows you to do the mastering chemistry homework. Okay. Now, if you purchase this online, they're just going to send you an access code, a number. And literally, that's what it's in here if I'd open it. It's a long number that allows you to use Mastering Chemistry. As the quarter approaches, I'll set up the Mastering Chemistry homework online so that you can access it. But uh, before the quarter starts, that won't be ready for you. The access kit, uh, you can get in the bookstore or purchase it bundled with your book for a slightly cheaper price. It's probably the best way to get it. You can get it on Amazon or other places online. Just make sure it has to be for the 10th edition of the textbook or it will not work. Okay, so that's the access kit. Uh, everything except the readers are available in the student bookstore. So you can get the access kit, you can get the text, you can get the solution manual if you want all of those things where the access kit is required in order to do the required homework. That's all in the bookstore. This is purchasable at Davis Copy Max, which is a copy shop that is uh, right next to campus. They will usually be ready just a couple weeks before the quarter starts, and I'll send out a smart site announcement when those are ready. Uh, and then the calculator, of course, you can get anywhere. 
Personally, I would highly recommend getting the readers. Students and myself uh, feel like this is the most helpful. Uh, if you were going to get something else, as far as between the readers text solution manual, I get the text next. But otherwise, you can use the textbook and the solutions manual from the library. So that's up to you. In the lab, you're going to see that everything here is starred. That's because they're all required. You need, you have to get all this stuff to be in, in the lab. So it's the first thing, the lab manual. It's read, as everything else is, in 2A. You must have the current version, must, must. Okay, so this is an old one, you couldn't use this one. But you need the most current one that you can get at the UCD bookstore. They are super cheap. And that's our lab manual. The lab notebook, again, you must have this. Here's just one example. There's lots of lab notebooks. The only thing you want to make sure is that it has carbon copy pages. So you might not be able to see this on the video, but one page will be white, and then when you turn it, the next page will be yellow, so that when you write on the white page, it makes a copy on the yellow page, okay? Because your TAs are going to collect the yellow page when you leave your lab room. All right, we need a, they need a copy of that. Okay. Goggles. You need your goggles. Okay, you can get these at the bookstore. Here's mine. They need to be uh, the right kind. They can't just be glasses. Okay, so the bookstore sells the correct kind. Make sure they fit correctly all the way around your face and your nose. And uh, those are available at the bookstore for you to purchase. As well, you need a lab coat. Okay, make sure it's a chemistry lab coat. There's some other lab coats, like a pharmacy lab coat, that doesn't go below your waist. But the chemistry lab coat pretty much goes to your knees at least. And then you button it up and you are ready to go to lab. You must have the right apparel in order to get into lab. And uh, by the way, if you're trying to waitlist the class, make sure you have all this stuff. Because if the t head TA is trying to add you into the course, you don't have all the material, they won't be able to add you because you can't go into lab. So make sure you bring all the material when you're trying to add the course and you need this stuff. The stuff for lab here you need for any class. All right, that's the kind of stuff that you need to purchase. Again, all this stuff is available at the UCD bookstore and I look forward to seeing you in class.